Crash and burn seems to be the energy lately. Thankfully, such was not the fate of my flight yesterday from Austin to Grand Junction. Good morning, Dan Earhart and the rest of the news for Thursday, 16 degrees, with apples right off the tree. I love it. Thanks for listening. Today is a YouTube moment for Rick Perry's crash and burn last night. You have to feel sorry for the guy. Okay, he wants to abolish the Department of Commerce, the Department of Education, and... Um, uh, no, environmental protection, that's an agency. Energy, that's it. The Department of Energy. He talks about it every day. He just forgot. Joe Paterno is 84 years old. He's been coach at Penn State for 41 years. That's as long as normal has been trying to decriminalize marijuana since 1970. After Joe got fired yesterday, a TV cameraman said, Your campus is going to burn tonight. It wasn't that bad. But thousands of students gathered in front of Old Main and shouted, We want Joe! In town, the crowd flipped over a TV news van, blaming media coverage for a perceived overreaching by the university. It's a mess. It's a crash and burn. And for the Christmas tree tax, it was going to be 15 cents a tree, for a new federal board to pay for promoting the Christmas tree industry. Huh? The White House decided the timing might be poor, maybe better in the dog days. The federal Christmas tree board did not come up in last night's debate. Here's a very serious crash and burn. A Russian spacecraft headed for the Martian moon Phobos didn't make it out of Earth orbit yesterday. It's stuck there's a good chance it will come back to Earth within two weeks. This could easily be the most dangerous space junk ever because it's carrying a fresh load of seven tons of rocket fuels, hydrazine, and tetroxide. The Russians are working on it. NASA wants to test crash and burn the new Orion space capsule earlier than planned in an unmanned re-entry by 2014 that will bring the spacecraft back from orbit through the atmosphere at a super steep descent rate to make for a super hot temperature to test it. But going to an asteroid just doesn't quite peak the spirit like going to a real place, though, does it? NASA is planning for tourism on the moon. Uh, You can't make this up. Where will people want to go? Well, Tranquility Base for sure. Now, you wouldn't want a rover full of tourists driving all over Neil Armstrong's boot tracks, so they're planning on making the site a national park. Heck, China opened a post office in space last week when they succeeded in their first ever docking maneuver, zip code 901001. Okay, I've been holding out the really good stuff. Ryan Air wants to offer in-flight porn. The Mile High Club on steroids. It's an app for tablets and smartphones, not back-of-the-seat screens. Still, it's hard to imagine next-of-seat companions not staring over your shoulder. Now, you might think this could make for some long lines to get into the bathroom. Well, hold on there. Dublin-based Ryanair wants to take out the bathrooms to make room for more seats. Let your imagination run wild. But wait, there's more. 50, do I hear 60,000? Fill in your own number. Next month, Michael Jackson's deathbed goes to auction. The sheets have been changed. Did you notice that the search field on Google is a little bigger? Credit Larry Page. Dominic Passanella is fire chief of Melrose, New York. He was running for town council in Tuesday's election. The EMS radio alerted to a problem pregnancy at the polling station just north and east of Albany. Dominic delivered the baby. Crash and burn in the election, though. He lost. That's today's YouTube moment for the rest of the news. Until tomorrow.